Hi, George here. And today we'll be looking at how you can use Photoshop Elements to lighten shadows just like that. This is an easy to do project, goes very, very fast. So let's go ahead and get into this one. I'm just gonna go over here and remove all of this excess stuff, delete that and get back to the original image, which is right here. And then I'll use Control Zero just to maximize that on our screen. There we go. And if you have my HTG Photo Coach program, you'll also have access to this original image as well. So if you wanna find out more about that, I'll put a link for that in the description. And our first step here is just to make a duplicate of this background. I just always do this just to be safe. Right click where it says background, duplicate layer, choose okay. And there we go, and then just hide that background. That's just a safety, just in case things go wrong. They shouldn't, but just in case. We now need to separate out the foreground from the background, use any technique that you like. I'm in 2024 right now, so let's just do the select and select subject. That's pretty easy. There's a problem on this, as you can see, it grabbed a lot of that palm tree in the back. We'll have to fix that. I use the scroll wheel on my mouse here to scroll in just a little ways. There we go. And if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse and it's not set up for this, that's up here at edit. Come down to preferences and general. And it's right here, zoom with scroll wheel. And while you're here, you might as well go ahead and click on a lot of floating documents in advanced mode as well. I use that frequently. And now that's all set. Okay, let's just grab a standard lasso tool over here. Come down here and set this over at subtract right there. I have my feathering set here at one pixel just to soften the edge up just a little bit. And then come in and make a selection just outside of her hair right there. And then around what you want to get rid of. And back over to your beginning, just cross over that. And it takes that out. Same thing on the right hand side, just come in just outside of her hair. She has some hair right down there. It's actually following the line of that palm tree. There we go. Let's now clean this edge up with the Refine Edge tool. I'm not going to bother with anything special in here on this one. I have the size set here at 17, which is good for this picture. It varies depending upon what your picture is and the size of your image. And just come along and brush right over just the outside edges of the hair, and that should help that. And right down along in here. There we go, and right up along here. Now we're using the picture right on itself, so if the edge is a little bit off, it doesn't matter because we'll be seeing the original image in behind. So that's all that we need here. Come down and now put this out to a new layer with layer mask. Choose OK. There we go. Here's our layer mask. Looks real nice, actually. I think that's just fine. Let's reshow the background copy. And then I'll zoom back out. Actually, I'll just use the Control-0 keyboard shortcut to go back to fit screen. And now that we have her on our own separate layer, we can make adjustments on this. Now, there are two different adjustments to use. The first one we'll be using is up here under the Enhance menu and come down to Lighting and we'll be doing the Shadows and Highlights. Now I know I always talk about using adjustment layers whenever you're doing adjustments, but in this case, the Shadows and Highlights is not available as an adjustment layer. Go over here to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. It's just not here. We don't happen to have that. Okay, Enhance, Adjust Lighting, Shadows, Highlights. And this is the main tool to get rid of the shadow side over here. You see you can lighten the shadows up and Elements is very good at finding where the shadow side is and lightening up those shadows. Notice how everything gets kind of washed out though. So I'll first come in, let's just preview this. There's before and there's after. It's much lighter now on the shadow side. It's really not changed on the highlight side. You can come in and do a bit of mid-tone adjustment here, but I'll leave that one alone. And we'll just lighten up the shadows. Choose OK. So that's the first part of this. We can now use an adjustment layer to bring back in some vibrancy into her skin tones, which were a little washed out with this. We'll go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer. This time we'll be using Levels. Check that checkbox, choose OK. And in here we want to bring in more blacks. It's your left-hand side. Just bring that in, that richness of blacks in a bit. Don't go too far. We don't want to do this again. So just bring the left in just a bit and the right in just a little bit. That increases the contrast on the image, makes it look a bit better. You can come in and tweak the mid-tones right here. If you want to do just a little bit, I wouldn't do very much on this. And I think that's looking pretty good. And let's do one more. Go up here to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer. This time, Hue Saturation. Again, check that checkbox, choose OK, and bring the saturation up just a little bit, not much, just a touch. See right there, it just adds back in some color. 
because it got a little washed out from that shadow highlights. And I think that is looking pretty good to my eye anyway. There's before, there's after. If you go too far on this, it does that. So that's why I'm being very careful. You want just a little bit before it begins going cartoony. Maybe about plus 10 or plus 12 is looking pretty good on this particular image. It'll depend upon your picture. And there we go. It's that easy. Let's now see how this looks. There's the before and there's after. So you solved that whole problem with the shadows being too dark and now looks real nice. I'm doing this project in Elements 2024. If you want to get my complete training course for Elements 2024, there's a link for that right down there in the description. It really is the best way to learn how to use this program. If you want to help me put up more videos here on YouTube, consider sending me a thanks. There's a button for that right down there in the bottom right-hand corner of the video. And I'll see you next time.